how God prospers a man when he continues in a covenant relationship with him. Look at verse 18, the latter half of it. Then Thagappan Avaigalikku ittir in the pergil in padiye, Avaigalikku peritaan. You see, Isaac following the steps of Abraham, his father, in giving names to the wells he dug. I thought about naming your seed. When you name your seed, you give your seed a very specific commission to work in a particular direction. Naming something provides direction to whatever you name. When a child is given a name, parents believe that the child will live up to that name which is given to that child. Amen. One child is given a name that is given to the child. And the child is given a name that is given to the child. And the child is given a name that is given to the child. And the child is if you look at parents who name their children just anything, they are irres irresponsible parents. Because parents take great pains, especially believers who become parents, take great pains to find out what name to give their child. They want their children to be named right. Because in time they want the child to live up to that name that the child bears. Hallelujah the same when you name your seed. You give direction to your seed to work. That way you set a time frame for a harvest to come your way because you have given something into the hands of Almighty God to use and to work with. Arindirindan and the Namangal in Pragaramaga, Avanum Ada Araika Thoranginan. Avana they say that the Nimitam Yenna and the Ditakin than Tadapan in Asirvadam, Avanukum Neredet Ure Mukimane Karimaga in the day Adamatumale than Tadapane Pole than the Viswasate Avutu Vita. Remember, he released his faith. The same way his father Abraham released faith. How do you release faith? By a spoken word. Can I have an amen please? Remember Mark 11.23 tells us what you speak is what you will get. Mark 11.23 tells us what you speak is what you will get. நீங்கள் வாயினாலே அறிக்கை செய்வதை தான் நீங்கள் பெற்று கொள்வீர்கள் என்று இயேசு அந்த இடத்திலே சொல்வதை நீங்கள் பார்க்கலாம் so what do you want in life speak speak it out the more you speak it out the more you lend credence to what you want come your way because you start giving it a form and a shape and you can believe for something to happen நீங்கள் வாயினாலே அறிக்கை செய்யும் ஒவ்வொரு காரியமும் நீங்கள் விரும்பும் காரியம் என்ன என்று காண்பிக்கிறதாக இருக்கிறது தவறாக நீங்கள் அறிக்கை செய்வீர்கள் என்றால் அந்த தவறுக்கு ஏதுவான காரியங்கள் உங்கள் வாழ்க்கையிலே செயல்படுவதை நீங்கள் பார்ப்பீர்கள் ஆனால் வசனத்திலே இதை நான் பார்க்கிறேன் ஆகையால் இது என்னுடையது என்று சுதந்திரமாக உங்கள் வாயினாலே வசனத்திலே நீங்கள் வாசிக்கக்கூடிய காரியங்களை அறிக்கை செய்து இது என்னுடையது என்று நீங்கள் சொல்வீர்கள் என்றால் வசனத்திலே நீங்கள் என்ன பார்க்கிறீர்களோ அது உங்கள் வாழ்க்கையிலே நடப்பதை நீங்கள் பார்ப்பீர்கள் Now look at verse 19 Isa could a vela carer, Palla Takele Vetti, Ange, Suruk, Surakum, Niru Trey, Kandargan. Palla Takele of a Mande, Vandan, Palla Takele, Avan Urkari at the Sedan, than Arika in Puddy Aven, Gerele Epudi, Seripe Petru Kondano, Ade Vanda Maga. In the Palla Taka Kule, one the Tan Gudara Tevaita and the Edatre Vasika Torangan Udene Mindum Aven Kenarelai Tonda and Torangina. You must understand that having been blessed in Jarrah, when he was asked to leave, he came to the valley of Jarrah. 
Now, most people love mountaintop experiences, but you must understand that there are valley experiences also. But what will transform the valley experience into a time of blessedness is what you will do when you walk through that valley experience. Most people walk through valley experiences with bitterness, hatred, complaining, murmuring. Now all of us go through those kinds of emotional ups and downs. But a right man will know what to do. He will continue to go back to the source of blessing. He will continue to work the works of Christ. He will continue to be a digger after living waters. That means he'll pursue living waters wherever he goes. And look at what happened. Isaac's herdsmen found springing waters. That means they found living waters. Not stagnant waters. Living waters. Where? In the valley of Gerard. Isn't it amazing that in a land ravaged by twin famine, wherever Isaac went, water went, water was found. Why? Because he was in covenant with a God who was the source of living waters. Can I have an amen, please? They were in a covenant relationship. But I want you to see something there, which is very important. And this is a principle. I'd like you to write it down, please. Kerarur Maper in the Thanni Tangladeya in the Soli Isa Kodya Maper Udene Vaka Vadam Pani Nargal Avargal Thanode Vaka Vadam Pani Napadial and the Thuravak Yesek and repair it on. Now please listen. The opposition claimed with the spoken word what was not theirs. They knew the spoken word could get things into their hands. Now, if the spoken word can get things into the hands of the opposition, why on earth can't the spoken word get things back into the hands of the Christian believer who is operating in covenant relationship with Almighty God? Just the spoken word. Now, this is a principle and most people don't understand it. They think they are very generous when they start Letting the opposition take everything that it, they, they want. No, you've got to be careful about what the opposition claims. Listen, I'll tell you why. The opposition claimed the well because they expected Isaac would not get water in the valley again. They wanted him to come to them and beg for water. But you know how God blesses a man? When God blesses a man, he blesses the man with another well. And another well, and another well, and another well, and it messes up the opposition. They can't understand your prosperity now. That's their punishment. Can I have an amen? That's their punishment. Not broken hands and broken legs. Broken hands and broken legs mend. But ongoing prosperity hurts. <laughs> ongoing prosperity hurts. Because here they're wanting you to beg at their doorstep. Somehow God keeps you from begging at their doorstep. Instead he is prospering the labor of your hands. It's honorable in the sight of God. And that the opposition can't handle. So instead of praying for break, breaking the hands and the legs of people who are opposing you, this is good. Lord, help me be blessed in my going out and in my coming in. Mess up the opposition bad. Let them be so confused that they can't understand that whatever I set my hands to do is blessed. Now follow, please. Here the other the other the other the other the other the now look at this man. Wherever he is going, he is finding water. But I want you to see something which is the flip side of opposition. 
Most people don't look at it like that. That's why I want to put it before you. The opposition knows that it is profitable to them to keep after you. Because wherever you are, you are blessed. Wherever they are, they are cursed. So when they come after you, they are trying to somehow get what they can get from you. So in one sense of the term, you are feeding the opposition. But listen, a time comes when the opposition will cease. Because God Almighty will not let opposition to go on and on and on forever. He'll prosper you. He'll bless you. And get ready for it to happen because I'm teaching something which will work. I'm not joking. This thing works. This word works. When people oppose you, they're plotting and planning your downfall. They even push you out and say, get out from being in our midst. They think you'll become nothing when they push you out. Somehow, wherever you go, the blessing follows. Why? Because you're honoring the blesser. You are in love with the blesser. You are a worshipper of the blesser. So wherever you go, you strike gold, my friends. Hallelujah. They thought if they'll push you out, you'll become nothing. But instead of becoming a nothing, you start prospering. Look, he got a double blessing. He got a double blessing and a triple blessing. We'll look at it a little later. He got a double blessing to start off with. Wherever he went, water was found. He didn't lack. In fact, the opposition had to come seeking after his blessing. Even in the Iratile Sendalum, Tandir Kadate, and the other can't be Kerede, Ratipana Asira and Petro or Mani then. Ratipana, Panjam Nira in the Desatre, even turned in a Kenarigle, Sorokum Tandir, our girl Pathar. It must have been astounding. You can just imagine how they must have shouted and screamed and ran around in circles, just looking at water springing out from the ground. And they look around and everywhere it's dry. No sight of water in the land. And in this man's well, water is coming. And it's not just trickling, it's springing forth. Bursting out of the ground. Morning I made a statement, I want to make it again. Most times the opposition does not know that your God is the God who is the grand provider. It's not just a small little springing well, if it needs be. He can even provide a deluge. It will mess the opposition. But he will save you in an ark. He is able to provide. There is no way in which God is baffled. When the opposition comes up against you. Remember the opposition's opposition is always the same. But when God blesses it is always creative. It is always creative. He is Elohim. Creative God. Creator God. He'll mess up the opposition through creative ways. But the opposition is always the same. They are, you look at this, they only want the well. They are going after the same thing the same way. But God does it differently. He'll bless you in the city, He'll bless you in the field. He'll bless you going out, He'll bless you coming in. He'll bless the labor of your hands, He'll bless your store. Remember, you don't have to give explanations to, your, to the opposition. They have a problem, let them meet with the God of blessing, the God of covenant. Let them humble themselves, come into peace with God. Then they'll find the same thing operating in their lives as well. But just getting mad at you, angry with you, envying you, is not going to solve their problem. It will not solve their problem. It will create more problems for them.
With this place, we're going to stop. We'll look at something amazing from this place next week. But I want you to put your hands together and thank God. He's given you something to sow. He's given you seed in your hand. Thank God for that. And as you release it, believe that it goes forth to accomplish a particular purpose. The Malay Vele Katar Ungal Kaile Vidae Kodutur Kra, Kani Kendre, Ningal Cholum Vele, the Vidae Pole Rikrede, or a Kuripit Nokat Kage, Ningalade, Sail Padum Badike, Katre Rajit Kulagan, Vidae Kerirgal, Adinicha Magaway, Ningal, Viswasikum, Arude, Kunduvarum Ende, Ningal Visuasi Pirgalendal, Katar Nicha Magaway. Ungal Vede, Angigarit, Asir with the Pala Madangai, Ade Ningal Thirumum or Arvadea Petru Columbadike, Ade Asir Vadipa, Kagletati under his totrit, the Purdue Nam Kudupoma. Let's bless the Lord and give.